Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. So this is Mary Lou Areño. So for today's video, I would like to respond to a question. What do you prefer, H1 or J1? So my answer is, I do prefer H1B visa. And I would like to explain to you why uh, I my preference uh, if I am the applicant to move forward with H-1B visa. But before that, I just wanted to let you know that when I came to the United States, I was on a J-1 visa, and it's a long way for me to get where I am right now as a U.S. citizen from a J-1, but it is possible. But if you will ask me, my preference, of course, is H-1B. So let's find out why. And um, before I'll go into details, I would like to invite especially the new viewers to please subscribe to my channel and hit that uh, like button just to support my channel because I know it's helping a lot of teachers out there. And um, also, if you have questions, don't forget uh, to write them on the comment box or email me at the teacher's best friend at gmail.com and I will respond to your questions. So why do I prefer H1B? So first, H1B is considered as a working visa. So that is um, the legal term for it, and the visa is the H1B. And usually when you are hired as H1B teacher in the United States, you can stay in the U.S. up to seven years. So usually it's six years, but they can extend. And luckily, if your employer like your performance, they can petition you for a green card or being a permanent resident in the U.S. So it means you can continuously go back to your home and at the same time, have a job in the U.S. continuously. And another uh, reason why I do prefer H-1B is uh, the transition from being the working and uh, being a permanent resident. And another thing is if you are in on an H-1B visa, you will enjoy the benefits like the other U.S. citizens does what are those benefits you will um, automatically on your first year have a deduction or savings for your social security benefits so it means from year one you are already counting for your retirement and the more years you contribute the more amount you get for your retirement so that is one benefit of being on an H1. On year one, you already get the benefit of, a so of the social security for your future retirement. And second, you will also have the benefit of a Medicare. So Medicare is another contribution, like when an employee retire and turns 65, you are going to have a Medicare, that means, all your health insurance, your hospitalization, your medication, if you have a monthly maintenance, is covered by Medicare. So the earlier you start with the contributions, the better also to strengthen your benefit in the Medicare system. And then another thing is uh, if you are on an H-1 visa, you don't need a two-year residence. You don't need to go back home after you finish your visa because it can continuously uh, if, if your um, employer is willing to petition you. And if no one, of course, uh, will petition you for a green card, it's okay. You can go home and after a month, you can go back and apply. Unlike in J-1, you need to wait for two years to be able to reapply. So those are the positive side of uh, being in an H-1B visa. And then another thing is uh, being in an H-1B 
is also in a way um, you have the protection under the Department of Labor for all those um, laws that is implemented here because you are approved under the Department of Education law. Unlike in a J-1, you are only under the agency or sponsoring agency and you are subject to their rules as well. Although here it's um, always equal opportunity for all employees, whether you are in a different country or came from a different country, there is no bias in terms of age, race, and other uh, factors. So it's all equal opportunity. So that is for me are the benefits of being an H1B. The stability and the early start of your social security and Medicare in the United States. But the only thing that I can see of disadvantage is uh, the fees. Like when you apply for H1, it is more expensive compared to the J1. Especially for J1, sometimes it gets too expensive also if you are using third-party agency. But if we're talking about both direct hire, G1 is a cheaper cost than H1. But you will recover those uh, expenses on an H1B because of your long-term contract and the possibility of having your uh, permanent um, status soon in the future. So the only secret for that is if you plan to work in the United States, always bear in mind that always give your best. Pursue with your professional development. Be a conscientious worker. Always prioritize your job and, of course, your students. And that will go a long way. So those are just my tips. So my answer to the question of most of our viewers asking me, what do I prefer, H1B or J1? So my answer is, I prefer the H1B visa. So if you have more questions regarding these types of visa or how to apply uh, in different states, please write your comments down below and I will respond to them. So just don't forget, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day to, all, to everyone. So see you on my next video. Bye for now and God bless you all. Thank you. See you soon.